Hello everyone. Yeah, you see the guy on the screen, and you're a detective of the video, so we're gonna talk about Yori. This is all not gonna be like the future of Yori or something like that, because we all know. He's top 3, along with Kula and Benimaru. He's one of the best characters in the game. Most people seem to think he's the best. I personally disagree. I think he's the worst of the top 3 characters. But I understand why would someone think he's the best character in the game, you know. And I see every time, you know, hey, in all of the um, KOF 14 patches that we're getting, Yori has either been getting buffed or they've ignored him and he's been, uh, he been like super good for a while now. So what's the deal with that? Um, I personally think you should not nerf Yori. Mo First of all, because you know, he's not, he's top 3, but he's bottom 3 of those 3 for me. And you should not nerf Yori because that wouldn't change a thing. You will still, unless he fucking sucks after you nerf him, and even then, we're gonna talk about that in a second, you will still see your is everywhere in tournaments. You know, you see people in chat always complaining, oh boy, another Yori player, oh boy, they're, they're heroes. But like, even if he wasn't top tier, you will still see Yori everywhere. And that's because we. If you've been playing KOF for a few years now, you know how to play Yori. You know. He's. I know Kyo is the main Kyo, excuse me, is the main character. But Yori is the Ryu of this game. With the exception of 12 and kinda 13, kinda, Kyori's been the same. Everything he doesn't change. Maybe he gets a new super. Every other card in the game is constantly changing, but not Yori. We can, if you know how to play Yori in KF 14, you'll most likely be able to play him in 98. If you can get by, by the execution barrier, because that game is it's harder to press buttons and shit and do combos in that one. But if you know the Yori fundamentals, and that's mostly the KOF fundamentals. If you know how to play KOF, you know how to play Yori. You see people picking him all the time because he represents KOF fundamentals. He does. Antinomi, then why do you put him in a yellow circle? You shut the fuck up, you piece of shit. You shut the fuck up right now. But... That's it. He just represents KOF. He's always really strong why people will not play as him. He's the perfect fighter. Yori is the perfect fighter. He has long range tools, not the best, but hey, he has long range tools. He has something to fight at long range, that's super important. He has mid range tools. And he has close range tools. He has the, the he has the mighty taco man. He he can move super fast again. He can be at the space of the screen he wants to be, he has an, an invisible reversal, standing lows, he has everything, overhead, he has all the tools a fighting game character could wish of, toppled off, the only thing Yori needs to eat up tier is damage. I don't know why, I, I kind of I have a brain fart there. Like, this is the easier combo in the world. I was like, yo, oh wow, really, Antinomi? <laughs> Come on. There we go. He has easy combos, they are not hard. It's not like a. He he's, his combos are easy. Are, uh, no, on the hard end to execute. His, his neutral game is harder to execute. Mostly because you need. The better you are, you need to get good at. Hey, how good are you at doing. His command throw. How good are you at? Whoop! I'm doing. No, I'm not. I'm not doing it. You know, shit, bullshit like that. You know, man. You know, you know when you're fighting a Yori player, where he does some bullshit like this, like yo, bam, and and they hit you. That's how you know <laughs> you're fighting a good motherfucker. That's someone who, who been playing Yori for years, man. I always get hit by Aragami faint. And even then, the version of Yori we have right now is pretty tame compared to others. He can. Cancel this. This this doesn't co this comes out in four frames. This used to come out in two in 13 and other games. Two frame normal. Not everyone in the game can like only like in 13 only like three characters. 
had to frame normal, you know, like they weren't, there weren't that many. No many characters in fighting games had to frame normal. It's pretty dumb. He doesn't have any infinite. He ha he does a, a stupid amount of damage, but again, that's what he needs to be playable. That's what Yori needs to be playable. If you look at the track record of games in which he's not good, like KOF 11, it's because he does shit damage he don't get in those games. And also everyone in KOF 11 is kind of a, mar is a Marvel character, but guess what? Go look right now, go look the most recent KOF 11 tournament. You'll see a bunch of Yoris there. Why? Because why stop playing Yori? He's always a, a character you can trust. You can always play him in any game, with the exception of 12. Even in 13, the DLC character, they, they put in, hey, grab all Yori back, you know, kick ass with him. I played the only game in which I don't play Yori is 14 because I promised myself, hey, I, let's let's, play, let's keep playing King, but let's spice it up. There's a lot of new characters, also for returning cool characters. Let's play one of those. Let's play some of those, you know. So I promised myself not to play Yori, well in KF14. Big mistake. <laughs> but what I wanna get across is like, even if they nerf him, you still see him in tournaments. No way you're not seeing. Like you're seeing Leonas in tournaments, and he got fucking bodied doing that patch so um, you'll definitely still see Yoris even if he does like 400 damage instead of 500 with two arc combos you'll still see Yoris and even if that happens hey guess what Yoris is a fucking amazing point character it's just that he's such a good anchor that why wouldn't you play him anchor on second and you'll honestly because everyone uses him You'll get used to fighting Yori in no time. Maybe in no time, maybe it takes a few years, but once you get used to... Hey, I'll be real. Let's go to characters to the screen right now. Right now. I would rather fight Yori than this shit right here. And she's, she, she's not that great. Like, or her. And, Le and Yori is a way better character. No, no way I'm fighting that shit. No, we'll rather fight the Ori. We'll rather fight the Ori. Definitely we'll fight the Ori. We'll rather fight the Ori. Ooh, we'll rather fight the Ori. Nah. Like, Yori is top 3, but we. we may, not the new players, not the more new KO players, but we've fighting Yori for years, so it's fine. It's okay that he's top 3. And we all knew he was gonna be top 3. Like, look at. There's so many characters here that would rather fight Yori. Hey, I would rather fight. A great yo a great Yori and a great whip. I would rather fight a great Yori than this fucker right here and he kinda sucks in this game. He's fine now. That's kinda the truth, it's fine for Yori to be top tier. And he will most likely be one. And even if he gets nerfed, you're still gonna fight against him because people can rely on Yori. And honestly, you should learn how to play Yori. Because he will always be there for you if you know. He's your bro. He has like he may be like he has like a rough steerer, but once you get to know him, he's a pretty reliable guy. So I think yeah, I'm kinda rambling by now, that's how it it's just I just kinda wanted to get this out there, you know. It's fine for you to eat up tier, it's okay. And honestly he shouldn't be low tier. I, I mean no character should be low tier, and even if they nerf Yori, I don't want him to be bad, you know. And he won't be. Uh, I, I said this before in the video, but I'll repeat it. The only thing Yori needs to be top tier is high damage output. And he has it, so he will be. Uh, but even if he doesn't have that, his tools will always make him a great character to play as. So, yeah. Xiao Hai will not stop playing Yori if he gets nerfed. Don't worry about it. And I think SNK kinda knows this, you know? I mean, not psycho, like they, they they know people will play Yori, they are aware. So, um, I don't see him getting there for anytime soon, and as I said before, honestly, he shouldn't. So, hey, that's how it. See you around, guys.